This is Dabu 7, taking a look at the chaos in different cities across the country. As this continues to spiral out of control, what we're noticing, though, is at the heart of this, it comes down to the leadership. And it just so happens to be that in many of these towns and locations where all this is happening, it is democratically controlled. We've also seen some of these same governors, mayors on this side step up and support the chaos in the streets. At the same time, shutting down churches, shutting down businesses, saying that you can't do nothing because of this whatever is going on around us. But yet they do not care about these protesters. They seem to be immune from any disease out here in the streets. And the mayor and the governor and all them themselves also immune as they go down here and they mingle in these packs and these crowds while there's not bodies stacked up anywhere. They have politicized this whole thing and whether some of you wanted to get involved in this or not, we're in it. And it's time to make a stand. As we've seen, a lot of stores are already starting to dial back their mandates on masks because people are revolting, because people are making a stand. Oh yeah, they're losing money. They're losing people coming through the door. And they're having to say, oh, okay, okay, you can come in without your mask now. We're not going to haggle you. Okay, different states, different locations, different. But they are walking this back because their bottom line is getting hurt. And here's the thing. The big corporations are going to get they're going to get threatened by the government. And they're going to say, well, we're not going to give you any funding or any aid or any deals or any of this crap. Well, the small man in small town, small towns really across the country, they don't care about that. They're not living off a government check. They don't want your government check. They're not getting funding. They're not getting all these backdoor deals. All they survive on is the people. So it's been those companies that have stepped up and put on their doors that, hey, if you don't want to wear a mask, that's okay with me. Those are the places I personally do business with. All the places that say anything about a mask, I will turn around and walk out. They will not get my money. We will defund them. You have got to start using your brains and thinking tactically out here and stop being lazy and continue to go to these stores that you know are raping you and that are going along with the game. So stand behind your people. This isn't going to go, go away anytime soon. The more noise we make, the more action we make out here, we will get results. You have to stand up because if not, they're just going to try to get whatever they can take. So come election time, is this going to change for the better? Well, let's look at it like this. Some say that if Biden gets elected, it'll get better. I don't think so. Now, let me, let me explain it like this. If you're going to provoke anyone, who's it going to be? The left or the right? To me, it's the right. Why? Because they provoked the left last time, and they did nothing. That's how you know that this whole thing is staged. That's right. They told the whole world that Hillary was winning up to the night of the election, only to get told your new president is Donald Trump. If a side was going to get pissed off and thought they got robbed, it would have happened then. They did nothing. But you have everybody and their mama out here supporting Trump that votes for him. And I'm saying it like that because I, I don't vote for neither one of them. I'm not caught in this left right paradigm, but I'm honest. I've been to the Democratic events, the Hillary events and all this. They ain't get no one show up. I've been to the Trump events. I've seen stadiums get packed. I know where the numbers are at. I know where the support's at. So what happens when all those people that they don't like, this government, when they get provoked? How will that happen? Oh, we'll give this thing to, to Joe Biden and have your controlled mainstream media dropping headlines that all the mail-in ballots were fraudulent. They were fraudulent here. They caught them here and there. And throw fuel on the fire of the anger of the people. Yeah. Then you'll get your provoking of a right. Mm, and maybe Trump will refuse to leave office if he thinks that it was rigged. Did he already say that? He sure did. You better watch the writing on the wall, ladies and gentlemen, because if there's going to be anyone they're trying to provoke, it's the right through a sham election that they give to Biden, where they say they're coming for your guns, and then it goes down the tubes from there. That is the worst case scenario 
All the rest of this is staged. They're looking to really get the real people up off their tails doing something. The masses, those same masses that came out in droves to the Trump rallies, those are the same people they're targeting. Unfortunately, that's many of you that are listening. I know it. I know it because you didn't want to choose Hillary. We talked about it last time. You had to choose the lesser of two evils. So you jumped on the Trump train. But now that you see that Mr. Operation Warp Speed's bringing this vaccine to your doorstep like lightning, you're rethinking things, aren't you? Yeah, some of you are that are smart. You're seeing that you got caught in a trap. What's called the Hegelian dialect. The left-right paradigm. What we've been trying to teach you about for a decade. It's time you awaken and rise up out of it. You can't win a race unless you have the a horse in the race. That's one of you, one of us, blue collar, not a one percenter. You dig? These politicians are of the world's best actors. This is what you're failing to see. Oh yeah. The real life Hollywood, the real life soap opera playing out right in front of you. All this designed chaos is just that. It's designed by the shadow government and deep state and by this world power, can't you see all these countries and their leadership are, are pushing this on their people the same way? Implementing lockdowns the same way? Can't you see they walked out of some office somewhere with some plan all on the same page and that they're part of a bigger group that we're not a part of? You better wake up. You're getting played by your leadership because they're in bed with all the rest of these leaders and they don't care about us. It's all about playing us. It's time you rise. It's time some of you realize that we're in a war and you start to do something about it join me on DLive for more peace